स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कोलोइड्स बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ पार्टिकल्स ऑफ डिस्पर्सल फेज ओके ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ पार्टिकल्स ऑफ डिस्पर्सल फेज कोलोइड्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू three types okay number 1 please listen multi molecular colloids number 2 macro molecular colloids and number 3 associated colloids okay what is meant by multi molecular colloid How a multi-molecular colloidal particle is formed? Okay, multi-molecular colloids are formed by the aggregation of atoms or small molecules with the size less than one nanometer. For example, gold salt is formed by the aggregation of thousands and thousands of gold atoms. Sulfur salt, a sulfur colloidal particle, is formed by the aggregation of Large number of uh, sulfur molecules, that is SH molecules. Okay. Then, in multi-molecular colloids, the atoms or molecules are held together by weak van der Waals force. Okay. Then, number two, macromolecular colloids. macro big these are big molecules these are big molecules these are macro molecules having colloidal size yes these are macro molecules having colloidal size these are formed by polymers okay these colloids are uh, usually polymers having very high molecular mass for example starch salt cellulose salt protein salt nylon salt polythene salt these are uh, macro molecular colloids okay here the size of the one molecule may be 1 nanometer to Thousand nanometer. The big molecules having colloidal size. The big molecules having colloidal size are called the macro molecular colloids. Okay. Third type is associated colloid. When we dissolve certain substances in a dispersion medium like water, it behaves as normal electrolyte. at low concentration but behaves as colloids at high concentration that means please sir associated colloids are the substances which when dissolved in a dispersion medium behave as electrolyte at low concentration but behaves as, as colloids at high concentration due to the formation of aggregated particles called micelle okay the examples for associated colloid soap is the best example then detergent here the formula of soap uh, soap is c7d35coon sodium stearate when we dissolve So sodium stearate in water, it undergoes a dissociation 
and forms a stearate ion and Na plus ion. That means it behaves as electrolyte. It undergo ionization at low concentration. Okay, the formula of stearate ion C17 H35 COO minus. Then, uh, then at high concentration, stearate ion soap, soap undergo aggregation to form ionic micellate, to form ionic micellate, okay. Then very important point, very important point, two very important terms related to this uh, micellar formation. The micellar formation takes place only above a particular temperature. That is called uh, craft temperature and uh, the micellar formation takes place only above a particular concentration called critical micellation concentration CMC. In the case of soap, the value of uh, CMC is uh, uh, 10 raised to minus 4 to 10 raised to minus 3 mole per liter. Okay? Yes. Then please listen. Based on the Type of particles of dispersed phase. Colloids can be classified into three types multimolecular colloid, macromolecular colloid, and associated colloid. Multimolecular colloid is formed by the aggregation of large number of atoms or small molecules with a size less than 1 nanometer. Macromolecular colloids are big molecules having colloidal size. Then, associated colloids are those substances which behaves as electrolytes at low concentration but behaves as colloids at high concentration due to the aggregation of particles and uh, the, these aggregated particles are called uh, micellate. Okay? Okay? 